case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The 2017 case, Ziegler v. Abbasi in the Supreme Court of the United States, focused on the debate over whether government officials could be sued if they violated someone's constitutional rights. However, officials may have qualified immunity if those rights were not clearly established. After the 9-11's terrorist attacks, the U.S. government detained hundreds of illegal aliens under harsh conditions to determine if they had connections to terrorism. Later, some of these detainees sued high-ranking members of the Department of Justice and wardens at the detention facility for violating their constitutional rights. The Supreme Court initially dismissed some defendants, but allowed others to proceed under the implied cause of action theory adopted in Bivens v. 6, Unknown Fed. Narcotics Agents Ultimately, the court held that the warden could be sued under the Bivens context, and the defendants were not entitled to qualified immunity. The court found that qualified immunity did not apply as defendants violated established constitutional rights. As a result, the plaintiffs were allowed to proceed with their claims against the defendants, while considering alternative remedies and the impact of government operations in Bivens actions. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 